Well, hello, Lord Marshall, family and friends. You guys are uh, here with us for the final round of the Renegade Open. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you guys are the best parts of uh, the tournament scene. And there's uh, Ben's backside. It is very attractive. So today I'm Joe. I'm Jason Horn. I am uh, the uh, I guess shoutcasting here with Cody. Cody, say hi. Hi. Awesome. And then we also have uh, Adam, the ringleader and of TFG Radio. <laughs> that is true. Hello, everybody. Hello. And he is the uh, most famous 40K judge because uh, we know him more than Salty John. So I'm most famous in the Midwest. That's fair. That's fair. And then we also are are joined with the Rhino, Pablo Martinez. You've been joined with the Rhino, not oh, by sorry. the Rhino. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We're all together. We're we're in a perfect harmony. I want no part of the Rhino. <laughs> well, you get it. You get the horn. Sorry, Adam. <laughs> oh, is that pun intended? I think so. <laughs> All God. right, and then we also have uh, Brian from the Carbon Flying Monkey. He is the disgruntled veteran of the group, and we're excited it's, that he's here. It's Bam, and you sound like Kmart, Mr. Rogers. <laughs> bam, Bam. Wow. Bam, don't uh, ask for my Disney uh, Plus password, Bam. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You don't. Okay, don't cool. Everybody. Well, we're excited about this matchup. It's it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we have Iron Hands, uh, Huda Thunk, right? Two weeks ago, and uh, Chaos Knights. So yeah, I do absolutely. Yep. So, um, who wants? Who would like to uh, start with their uh, with the list? Uh, so, so I'll talk. I'll start talking about. Scott I'm lazy, now. so when you guys need to do. <laughs> so Scott Packet is running. Scott Pocket is running a, a Chaos Knights uh, list, and it's pure Chaos Knights. We got a Stress Knight Castigator, a Knight Despoiler with the um, the uh, Gat double Gatling cannons, and then a Knight Rampager, which is the melee knight. Uh, and then we have another Lord of War detachment Knight Despoiler uh, with two thermal cannons, and then two War Moirox War Dogs uh, in there. It's it's a pure knights list. It's very simple, uh, but Scott is less. It's less the list and more of what Scott's done. He already beat Iron Hands player round one of this tournament yesterday. Uh, it was a different Iron Hands list than the one he's playing now. Uh, Ryan's list, which we'll go into a moment, is one that we we are traditionally seeing a lot more of uh, the top players taking. It's that Iron Hands brigade, uh, and I'll, I'll go over that in a second. Or maybe one of these guys will go over it. But um, the cool thing is is uh, Scott's gone through the imperium gauntlet or what i think of this the imperium gauntlet uh he's played chaos knights which is almost the same as imperial knights he's beaten a knights player uh he beat an iron hands list he beat a pure admech list he beat uh an imperium mixed list with admech a guard and space marines uh and then he also beat uh uh um last round he beat an uh I think it was another Space Marine, like an Imperial Fist Centurion Devastator Squad Space Marine list. And that was run by a really good player in Tyler DeVries. So, it, you know, he's he has the capability to beat this Iron Hands list. Um, and I would actually say that he's the favorite going into it because I don't think the Iron Hands Brigade is ad, as good against Chaos Knights as some of the other Space Marine lists you'll see. Boom. On to Ryan. <laughs> Adam and Bam Bam. On. You can continue. You're, you're on a roll. Pablo said, I will second it. <laughs> you're super um, excited. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I've been waiting all weekend to shoutcast, and uh, woke up at 6 a.m. this morning to find out that my internet was gone, and uh, basically through a wild array of phone calls and whatnots, uh, I finally got internet, and I'm, I'm excited and ready to go. Um, so let's just talk about Ryan's list. So this is an Iron Hands Brigade list that you're definitely going to see a lot of. It's it's really good at targeting specific parts of or, or uh, targeting all the parts of the meta um it can deal with most lists it has the capabilities to to beat most lists um and it's just it's a very good list so it's uh got uh, an iron hands brigade uh, and then that's going to be uh, an iron hand successor with master artisans and stealthy and then you've got a uh, captain who usually a smash captain usually make chapter master a lieutenant with a jump pack a two chain swords five intercessor squads four intercessor squads min uh, with stalker bolt rifles and two scout squads 
three Invictor Tactical War Suits, which are amazing. A one Venerable Dreadnought with a twin Auto Cannon and twin Last Cannon, which is a staple you're seeing in Iron Hands list. You make that one character, or that one Dreadnought a character, and they become like a pseudo Rifleman Dreadnought if you played in fifth. Um, sniper kind of deal, or kind of like your main tank hunter. Three Suppressor Squads in the Fast Attack slot, uh, which I'm not a big fan of, but a lot of people are taking them, and they're not bad. And then uh, finally, in the heavy support, we have two Thunderfire Cannons and one Devastator Centurion, or one regular Devastator Squad with Grav Cannons in a drop pod. And that is the list. Yeah, the Suppressors work really well in an Iron Hands list because of the ignore movement penalty. Yes, yes. They, they are particularly good in an Iron Hands list. That's why you see, you see them. Our local player, Danny Kwan, uses them. He has two squads of them. And he also plays the Successor, which is the uh, Master Artisan and Stealth. Yeah. Uh, for those that don't yeah, know, Master Artisan know. allows them to reroll one hit wound and one uh, one hit know. roll and one wound roll. Know. Sorry, um, <laughs> each time for for every unit, basically. Yeah, and then uh, and then uh, Ryan is is not taking eliminators. Um, right. Uh, a move which I actually agree with. Um, I think eliminators are they're not they're good. Um, but I believe that they're a little overrated and that every Space Marine player is taking them so much so that they're they've been sold out through Games Workshop's website for like months. Um, I don't think that they're that good. Uh, I've played against basically three limiter squads and like two or three sniper scout squads, and they hurt. They do hurt. They're, they're not. They're, I'm not saying they're bad. They're really good. I just I don't think they're every Space Marine list good, like Thunderfire Cannon. Uh, um, well, no, no. He he also had like Thunderfire Cannons because he he also took a brigade, and so you can take up to like what five units, five or yeah, six. Yeah, it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. So you can easily fit three limiter squads. And two Thunderfire cannons in in a brigade <laughs> easily. It's, it's yeah, crazy. and the eliminators are cheap too. They're they're yeah, seventy two points. Um, All right. All right. So this is mission five, I believe. Because mm -hmm. there's four six. objectives. No, they oh, played mission six last. Uh, oh, I see. Okay, last round. Yeah, they've so randomized the objectives. Right. Ben is the head judge here. Uh, we call him Ben the Banana Man Sherwin. You call him that. I, like I think we Not all only you call him that, Jason. Nobody else does. Uh, get out of here. No one, because, likes, uh, no one wants to think about Ben's banana. Yeah, because of your special relationship with Ben. I'm assuming that's why you call him that. <laughs> hey, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tell you why, but it's fine. You know what? I don't judge. <laughs> I, I judge all the time. So I mean, ben... I judge personally, but I'm not gonna okay. publicly all right, judge. All right, all right. Hey, Ben, what mission is this? <laughs> Five. Okay, thank you. Uh, wow. I check for my what is I'm already the getting attacked the verbally in my bonuses. own shoutcasting So in this, in, this, in this mission, after after uh, you get you choose your deployment zones and you, choose, you have your side, you get to move one objective in your deployment zone up to six inches in any direction. Yes. You get a primary objective. If you hold your opponent's primary, you get the bonus. Yes. Which with the drop pod, and depending how where those knights go, he could get. Uh, Ryan could get. For the knights to get it, they basically have to kill everything. Yeah, I had some audio issues. Or did the Moriaxes have a uh, lightning locks on them? One has lightning locks. The other one has the other gun nobody uses. Yeah. I, don't... I mean, obviously, <laughs> lightning. I prefer lightning locks, but you know. Yeah, obviously he's played it well enough to get to this table, but uh, I've uh, I've seen some I played some Morioc Morioc spam with lightning locks yesterday, and uh, they are way undercosted for what they do. Oh yeah, they're they're easily the best armager or war dog variant. The the yeah. Tesla with the exploding six is automatically getting two extra. Hits. You know they're already rolling twelve dice, so you're gonna get a couple of a uh, couple to three sixes out of that, turning into a ton of hits. Yep. So it looks like yeah, uh, Scott has the first turn. Yes, we have the first. Which is not good for Ryan. No, nope. yeah, it's not. Very happy. All right, so let's do some predictions real quick. Uh, while we remember. Um. Uh, yeah. And, uh, so, um, I like I said before also. the game started. I think that I think that Scott's got the advantage here. Yeah. Um, going into uh, the Space Marine Iron Hands list. Uh, it's interesting to look at his secondaries. Um, those. Okay. He's took big game hunter, which right. which um, I'm not sure I agree with. More. Uh, but Those actually, you know what? The player, I just right? looked at it and yeah. the the overlay that had all the secondaries cool. is gone. Okay. I should have yeah. it down. Um, no, it's all good. It's all good. Um, thanks for being helpful, so, Jason. 
<laughs> I, think I, I believe his only I believe his only secondary targets okay. uh, for big game under are um the the three dreadnoughts and then the the rifle dreadnought or the twin auto cannon twin last cannon character dreadnought. Right. Um. If that is the case, um. I don't see him getting full max speed game hunter, which I think is really important for knights going into this matchup because Ryan's going to put up a ton of points on him. Uh, he picked engineers, so he's guaranteed four points there. And then Titan Slayer and King Slayer really only needs to kill slash hurt two knights to get those. No, so no missile pods on the knights. <laughs> no, there. Oh, there's. Well, I think one has missile pods. Um, okay, because they do have missile pods with indirect fire, so might be able to get it. Okay, so Pablo, what do you think the score will be? What do I think the score will be? Uh-huh. You gonna pop over here? Um, I'm only gonna hold you to it for this game. Let me get, let me um let me go ahead and do some quick math here. <laughs> My round four, I went. It's from going here to be. To I think I think it's probably gonna be like a a thirty like seventeen victory in Scott's favor. Like wow. I think it's gonna be like a hand. Nice. A hand Man. Yeah, yeah. I That's think it's brutal. gonna be. A, yeah, it it's just. I, I've played a lot of Space Marines and I've played a lot of Knights, and I know these are Chaos Knights, so these aren't the Knights I normally play. However, they don't play that much differently. They're, yeah, and they're better. They're they're better in a lot of cases. Yeah. Um, so it, you know, like I know the capabilities of both these armies. This isn't like Tau versus Eldar. We have absolutely no idea what's going to happen. Um, and Knights are really tough. And Bolters, you know, if, if uh, Ryan rolls a lot of sixes and manages to kill an Armager early and degrade a Knight or kill a Knight early. Uh, maybe he's got a shot, uh, but you know Scott's got first turn. He's got the full range. He he did the right thing where he deployed on the line. Those knights are fast, um, and Ryan's gonna lose a lot of important stuff here. And that his one character dreadnought is gonna have to put in a lot of work. And he's only got two last cannons to do it with. Yeah, I uh, I agree with Pablo. I don't know if the score will be that big of a blowout, but we'll see what happens. He's gonna hurt. Yeah. Uh, I also. What do you don't think know, the score will be, Brian? <laughs> Yeah, let me. I'll go. 16, let's do a, a. Every time I do this, I'm completely wrong. So there's no scientific <laughs> method to it. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Twenty nine to twenty, chaos knights. Okay, and Cody, what do you think the score will be? Oh. Ugh, I have not been good with this. <laughs> let's. Uh, you know what? Because I want the Chaos Knight guy to win, I'm going to go for the Iron Hands player at, like, 26 to 20. Okay. Smart man. He knows his strengths and weaknesses. <laughs> Man's got his nose limitations. So... The only ant really heavy anti-tank are is his rifle dread and the grab guns, correct? I was not on when you guys read the list, so I'm uh, I'm, uh, I'm he has the, it. No, I mean, he's got, yes, it, it, dedicated, I will he's definitely hurt Knight's damage, bit. is right. the grab cannons, uh, and then the, the twin last cannons, and then he's got a lot of, like, wounding you on fives, AP2, one down. damage right. guns, right? Yeah. And, like, the or two damage guns in case of the auto cannons. So really, <laughs> really, case, really, he needs to roll fives. I said sixes earlier, I'm going to amend that, so he just needs to roll a lot of fives. Um, because auto can't all the number of shots that he does have can put in a lot of work on a knight, but he, you know he needs to roll well, and he only has a lieutenant. He doesn't, you know, he doesn't have anything. Have that the grab cannons are, aren't going to come down this turn. So Scott's got one turn of uh, pretty much guaranteed shooting at full power. So you know it's it's not going to be great for for Ryan. Well, I mean, already I can already drop. I almost would just drop my. Drop pod on the objective that has nobody on it. Yeah, well, that's is that I, I'm pretty sure that's also uh, Scott's home objective. It is. So right. I get the bonus. So it gives the bonus. Yeah. So um, and that might be a big mistake. Ryan, I don't, I don't know Ryan also personally um, as a player. So obviously he's good enough to go five and now at the Renegade Open, which is a big deal. Um, but I don't know. Um, the, the, this the Space Marine list is a list that does lend itself to really good players to steal victories yeah, in really. bad matchups. Um, this is kind of also what it's designed for. It's a very mobile list. His suppressors can still come down. Um, uh, so Ryan can still pull off like a victory here, but um, it's real, I really I don't know how skilled of a player he is. I don't know how well he, does, he knows this matchup. Um, I know what he has to do to win, but I don't know if he knows it. So, so to finish up the uh, predictions... I don't remember picking knights, but I'll go 24-23 knights. Well, I Ooh, thought you picked victory. knights. 
Did you want to pick Space Marines? Did you want to pick no, Space Marines? Oh, I'm picking Knights. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so there are the predictions for the game. Hopefully, uh, I know one of us is going to get the right the right game. So uh, we'll see how this works out. I think it's going to be a pretty exciting time frame. Yeah, I, I don't even think uh, – I don't think the Space Marine player will have the luxury of getting that objective if – if this goes as if this first turn goes as bad as it looks like it, it might just try him mm -hmm. all right well let's tune into the players a little bit for uh shots, not even for their shooting that. phase let's do it one hit nothing that's not going well uh, avenger that seems fine Threes, because I boosted? Yep. That's a lot. That is all of them. Holy shit. Eights? Yeah. Minus two. Hot dice right there. Uh, four up. Uh, he took uh, four of them? Yep. Uh, that's 12. 12. One left. That's unfortunate. <laughs> one left. Um, give me one sec. I'm Mike Man Point. I'm uh, failed. Okay. I don't think so, but... You have range from there, you have range from a bunch He's of two, stuff. Yeah. These three haven't shot. Okay. Good. Yeah, I wouldn't do it either. You got thermals to do later or something like that. Um, Heavy flamer? Yes. Five shots there, or hits, or whatever that's called. Oh, give me four at minus one on them scouts. Five ups. Did I get all of them? The sergeant's still there. Oh, okay. Because you did four wounds, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's funny. Oh, that's right. I... Thought I did five for a second. Uh, Stubbers are going there too, though. Sure. Hitting. Uh, give me fours. One of them. Eight. Down under network. What's up? Chaos Knights on the top table. I'll right, we'll go here next. Um, he'll stub these scouts. He'll iron storm the same suppressor squad and pretend sure. he can hit him. Uh, one thermal there, one thermal there. Yep. And we'll re-roll hits. For two CP. There's Oop. my thingy. Eight remaining. Two Scott? Yep. Yes. Okay. Uh, Snake oh. 30. Uh, yes, this is 2K competitive ITC Falling format. Yeah, right. well. Hey, thanks for following um, Snake 30K, 30R. We'll make the same mistake and start with the Iron Storm. Two. About the same. Look it up. One hit. Uh, but re rolling. Oh, yeah. Come on now. Two. Uh, Keep four. Yep. Threes. Yep. Nope. I was getting ready. Same mistake, stubborn. That knight um, that's closest to his home objective, What what oh. knight is that? Oh, yes, plus one ballistic skill. Correct. Uh -huh -huh. <laughs> That's very cocked. Was that the thermal cannon or the Gatling cannon? One? Yeah, one. Uh, what did, he, what did you ask him, sorry? Ball? Yep, he's fine. The knight that's closest to his home objective? Uh, Which knight is that? There. Looks like thermal cannon knight. It's a uh, double thermal cannon. Five shots. And if you're wondering why he's plus one ballistic What's the knight, skill, the knight that, underneath it also uh, looks like it has a thermal cannon. Yep, double thermal cannon. Didn't yep. need rerolls on that one. That's that the one that's in between the two, the Four the castigator, I think, is the uh, Gatlin cannon, thermal cannon. Oh, nah. How many should he have left? Five. So, go roll all ones. All right, we're good. Explosion. No. And the other guy. Uh oh. Six shots. There goes. I wish you had repulsors or something. Five hero. Into. Those are all hits. Let's well, on the one window. Um, right there. Excellent. Yeah, yeah this. Uh, uh, if him, if you look at this know. war suit on the far right over here, um, I don't know if this was necessarily a mistake. The charge distance on knights is is huge, um, but you know this war suit <laughs> is, looks like it's definitely within charge distance, um, and uh, might be might be in a lot of trouble. Damage. Oh. Wow. So I'm but uh, it you know, Scott Scott's gonna have knights in his face on turn two. 
uh, and you know, you mean Ryan? A huge hole he has to Ryan. climb. I'm sorry, Ryan. Yeah. Ryan's going to have to huge hole hole from cli to climb from. All right. Um... And and demo fool um is asking why didn't the space marine player castle up in the corner and press of the knights on first turn? Uh, I agree. Um, if you look his Him his uh, tactical war suit deployment, um, it was very aggressive. Um, he looked like he was trying to screen uh, or something. Um, you know, he really spread out, and I'm not sure what he was uh, what you he, guys aren't what he was to see through the trying windows. to accomplish. Uh, these knights do go down to mass the, bolter uh, like, fire. And so if you can <laughs> castle up and get one knight to walk into bolter um, fire, bolter range, um, and then and everyone's bolter range, uh, you can take that knight down. <laughs> So, I'm not sure here. Uh, and then, yeah, he might have been hoping to go first in in, in the matchup, which I, I don't I don't necessarily agree with too. But good thing I don't care about these guys dying too much, right? Uh, give me four of them, minus two. Four, four ups. Pablo or, or Bam, do you think he should have pushed out more with the scouts to screen to limit the movement? So, uh, good, Pablo. If you... Oh, uh, I was gonna say. So the scouts, um, any amount, okay. you, if you put them in charge range, they're just they kind of slingshot at night. So or... um, I might have put them like in a corner, like behind this hill on the bottom left. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, or you know, I might have put them out of extreme charge range um, and put my tire so that that way he didn't get a charge off turn one. Right. Um, as a a really good player uh, that I know, Brandon and Grant said, uh, oh, Knight's damage output is is increased um, by like forty percent when it's able to charge, um, and so limiting their ability to charge also just lowers their damage output that they do to you. Uh, and Ryan needs Scott to do as little damage as possible to his army because his army, you know, does die to Scott's army master. pretty easily. Yeah. So I don't know. I wouldn't have put the scouts up the screen. I would not either. I would have at least made him kill me off an objective to start or spread out the knights, but yeah. And then if you if you think about it, if there's like ten scouts over here on the bottom left behind this hill, uh, you know, it, Scott has to answer that. It, there wouldn't just be a uh, Moirax there. Charges. There might be a bigger knight moving there, there as well. Right. Um, and so if those scouts charge the Moirax, Scott's... that's potentially. Uh, you know, an objective over one or two turns, or a knight, you know, having right, to charge in there and get them Nothing as well. So. Did I break it? Indeed. And that was kind of the point I was trying to make, was I think uh, uh, so I having yeah. having everything right there for the well, Knights to run at it, yeah, you basically, he played you into the Chaos player's hand. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it, well, you know, because those, those scouts are uh, objective so. secured. So, you know, a Moriak sitting on an objective with right. scouts sitting on an objective, you know, would not have held that objective. So he would have had to take something over there to either kill it or get it off the objective. And... Uh, uh, basically divert oh. the forces. Now he can just run everything straight ahead and do what he wants to do. Cascader just made a charge. Right. Yep. Yeah. That Cascader uh, is going to wreck some shit. Those, those Sarasus Knights are... There, so they did get nerfed, um, uh, one but they, grenade, the Chaos sorry. versions got buffed a little because they got access to more stuff. Yeah. Uh, but those oh, those Cascaders you want to be grenade. careful because they don't Artists. have a 12-inch move. They have a 14-inch move. Right. Uh, so they can get the fringe one, charges off Artisan, in most deployments if they deploy on the line. Hit, um, and I think that's probably what happened Artisan, here. Nothing. Victor. Auto cannon. Ones, artisans. Hits the auto. Look for fives. I think they did All get artisans. a buff. I haven't looked at the data sheet Forward. as in uh, getting more attacks now, though. The way they, uh, the heavy you, can, you can run those. Um, one hit. Strength four, nothing. Heavy bolter, nothing. And the frag storm, Ooh. six shots. <laughs> I think these are terrible. Two, strength four, one wound, uh, no AP. I'll save that one. Okay. Back. Kill your guy. Still fine. All right, let's see yeah, where this guy's uh, going. Uh, uh, plus three, too, so I can go. Into this area that's yeah. right here. <laughs> yeah, this feels so, so dirty right now. I'm just gonna fit myself in like a puzzle piece right here, if that's cool. Yep, you're good. You're fitting. I don't know what you're talking about. It seems fine. There's just an 11 inch <laughs> uh, charge on three units with the despoiler. 
And it looks like he's going to touch that oh, Invictor Ward. Sure, too. So that thing's uh, probably going away. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. You fall back and shoot. I'm pretty sure all these guys no. are cool. dying. Um, Am I in your deployment zone? Yeah. Both of them probably least, are. It at least limits the Invictor Ward. Yeah. It happens to survive. Yeah, and, and if, I, were, if I was actually Ryan, I might actually... No, throw no attacks into the scouts how many hits, hits um, and, and save them for later because they're they're um, so easy to kill. Three up save. Uh, and then just kill this war suit uh, and maybe kill it. like try and kill a few intercessors. I would just kill. Yeah, the I wouldn't even worry about the scouts. I just kill the war suit because then the other stuff can't shoot Two if they fall back. So yes. Into your intercessors. Perfect. Yeah. Hear them swords. I know they <laughs> look like ultramarines, but they don't act like ultramarines. <laughs> those are, those are a blue. Those are Iron Hand successor, Bam Bam. Yes. Okay. <laughs> they're they're ultra Iron Rings. They're ultra ultra Iron Ultra Hands. Okay. I really screwed up. Yeah, you got one left. Yep. I guess I'll be death gripping them after all. <laughs> all right. Uh, then we got the stops. Uh, so I was, or the secondaries again, Jason. The, running the uh, Gauntlet of Ascension last game. Oh, actually sure. get touched. Clock. Uh, so it's uh, Scott's got Big okay. Game Hunter, right, okay. Old School Butcher's Bill, and Ryan right. has Titan Slayer Engineers and King Slayer. So he'll uh, get uh, what a Butcher's two. Bill right. and an Old Only School, an Old School, and, and, and then one. probably he's already got one big game at yeah. least. Yes, probably get yeah. two. Too, so. um, and then yeah, because he can kill that other war suit. Move, so that's a like pretty good turn one. Looks like he's killing guys. Thank you very much. Hmm. Uh, yep. Yeah, that's an Three interesting point. Um, uh, I'm not going to no. pronounce your name. Um, he said that that, that uh, because yeah. it's the last that game of the tournament, point. it might not necessarily be necessary to to score points. It might just be fine just to table them as quick as possible. Yeah. Um, that, that is like that is something that to th consider. No, uh, I think Draft it's probably mm -hmm. better that Scott plays to maximize points because of, just in case, just mm -hmm. because Ryan's list can still you know does still have a turn Very one and can still put up points. Um, but that is a good point that if um, if you're playing at a top table, uh, um, you might not necessarily want to maximize points but if that means that your opponent oh, can potentially you know hail mary win the game. So sometimes going for the tabling might be faster. Or better. There's well, plus, two guys? plus you need to. Uh, three guys? If you remember, there's the other undefeated player that got the down pair. Nice. That's nice, true. Uh, yeah. Uh, and yeah. I believe he's playing. I'm pretty happy with uh, Aaron Along. Let's check. Let me go look at the pairings real right. quick. Well, I got morale there. That is exactly yeah, correct, and we will oh, yeah, actually that. do a little bit of a live streaming over there. So get us a, a second to get that turn, all set we'll up. Aaron is not a slouch on the tabletop. No, and he was actually featured in, I think, game two uh, against... I, I don't remember who he played. I think it was an Iron Hands list. Oh, uh, Tyler DeVries. So, we are going to cut over real quick to the second top table, which features uh, Michael and Aaron. That many sixes. <laughs> so it looks like it's the top of the turn with Air or with uh, Michael Michael going right now. Imagine that Iron Hands on the two top tables. I am shocked. Uh, so three more, yeah. So you're gonna eight. I'm gonna make looks a like the top of the turn is over. <laughs> How many I do? Five. So if you're wanting to you know, here are the, let me get the score silly. sheet for these guys. Um, oh, sorry, wrong score sheet. Three, let me do it one more time. Well, more than that. Three this guys. Little. Each. Sergeant. There we go. No gene around my here. So you can Arson. see secondaries for both players. It's sixes. And artisans. Okay. Often. All right. So interesting Texas. matchup. We'll cut over again. Texas uh, dot. Morale yeah. on this guy. Kind of through this the game. I feel like this might be a quick game here, here at uh, at the top table. And the other single guy here. Good. 
You killed scouts, intercessors, and three or five total. I do. I make a joke. Obviously, you Texas hold dice about iron hands, like but the thing I do like is the meta that is ever changing in 40k. Yep. The uh, I'll bet you six months from now we're gonna look back and yeah, the picture's gonna be completely different because it does change. I'm kind of convinced that uh, the Eldar Yonari uh, forefathers and overlords will come back <laughs> to to reign supreme. Speaking of overlords, I think Necrons are going to be the big go-to army. They're going to get. This is why you're better. Necrons are really good against space rings still. They are. Yes. He starts at twenty-seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, we have these supplements yeah, coming out. Uh, but, less rules than they used to have. Yeah. Uh, six months down the road, I think space rings like are still probably going to be the top army. Um, I I right, don't got a point. foresee that changing for a while. Um, I think the changes to Space Marines are, are going to, you know, we're long-term oh, decisions yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. are going to affect, that you know, the, the game, game for the next year, oh, yeah. year one. and a half. Um, know, I've never actually for better or worse, I don't know, but, but, but uh, right. <laughs> I, I think Space Marine stuff is, is going to be the strongest stuff we see in, in, like, you know, the next six months at least. Well, yeah, because that would that that, that means the, they're not going to make any corrections if they do until yeah. uh, the spring FAQ. 15. Yeah. <laughs> Got a little beat up from intercessor punches. Very surprising on that one. Nice, pretty cool. Scott was uh, commenting. Is, is about someone actually in the chat yeah. bitching about what, chaos? What chaos players are the worst. And he gets like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, 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 like. Jesus himself could come down and hand a chaos player a codex, and he would cry about it. <laughs> It'll never be as good as 3.5. Uh. <laughs> By the way, the two worst performing factions currently right now as of the Space Marine release uh, are Tyranids and Blood Angels by by a significant amount, according to 40kstats.com. Check that out if you want to look at the stats and all that goodness. Um, but it's really funny that they also got their own book, the Blood Angels and Tyranids book. Um, so yeah, chaos, chaos are, aren't performing that poorly. Chaos demons kind of took a big drop comparatively to where they were before, but uh, <laughs> um, it's really also sad because Tyranids were good for one brief shining moment in Eighth Edition, and then GW swung the nerf bat on Flyers. Whoa, whoa, whoa! We gotta uh, we gotta remember it, that who swung the nerf bat? It was Matt Root. Matt forced Matt, that to happen. Matt 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 single handedly killed tyranids hopes and dreams <laughs> um, but they were they That's were accurate. not good in seventh edition tyranids have pretty much not been good since i've been playing 40k and for an eighth edition in the beginning for one pretty shiny moment they had their time in the sun um but now now they're you know yeah they were good in like uh third fourth edition so actually root and i played them in that the adepticon teams yeah. the developer team, the team nid on nid and the saddest face they ever had was when they looked across and could only shoot rippers and then we brought everything in out of reserve <laughs> so yeah. you're welcome it wasn't just root <laughs> you're right you're right there were, yeah, but there no, were a lot nobody knows you ben Nick. hey everybody knows ben cool ranch ben sure now. Well, now ben they absolutely do absolutely contributed to that um Ben, ben and, and Matt are, are connected at the hip, so... Just I, because your West Coast meta is six months behind the Midwest, <laughs> that's why you don't know me. <laughs> oh, shots fired. <laughs> uh, but yeah. I, I'm, considering where I live, I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, but um, someone said uh, that he just saw Blood Angels player destroy people at a tournament yesterday. Um, yeah, and there's some really good Blood Angels players, like Thomas X from Oki did really well at the SoCal Open with pure Blood Angels. Um, and Blood Angels are still Space Marines. They have a lot of those Space Marine buffs um, and have a lot of capabilities. The The real issue with Blood Angels and in that them being a poor performing faction is the amount of bad Blood Angels players there are. Uh, there, are a lot of, there are a lot of Blood Angels players, um, and they do really badly. And it just, it's just the way it is, statistically. I'm not calling all Blood Angels players bad, but you heard it here you first, know, folks. Just get good. Yeah, That's just it. Get Everybody good. heard it here. Pablo said Blood Angels players are bad. 
that, yeah. yeah, that's so, I can the on these guys. Well, well, Blood Angels players and Black Temple well, players. Well, oh. <laughs> no, Black Temple players are just annoying. Where's want. Ben at? That's gonna trigger him. <laughs> wow. All right, so uh, send all your hate mail to PDPob at uh, FrontlineGaming dot org. Uh, <laughs> all your hate mail. Yes, yeah, send it there for Pablo. I have a very specific tab actually for all the hate mail. Um, I make it. I made it a lot easier for you guys to send me hate mail now. I've just been getting so much in that you know I felt I'd just like organize it and stuff too. So if you put nice. in the subject line like uh, flame <laughs> or uh, death threat, you know, or whatever, whatever kind of flavor of hate mail you want to send. What about dick pics? This, dick pics? That's definitely a thing. He's a different tab for that. There's <laughs> a different folder for that. But I will, I will take those too. I'm sure. And that's that's subdivided oh, yeah, into his own and then others. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but um. All right, we're going to you the Bibble Baggins Pamp, I believe he has two left, and they're in this bottom right corner. He has one left, one left Jason. Left. I'm sorry, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, does he have zero left? I don't see the third one now. Oh, now it's gone. Enhanced. He might have shot the other one with the plasma. Going to... Yeah. Oh, no, there's one. Where? That's just Dreadnought. That's the right one. normal Dreadnought. Okay. Three and a one there. Dipshit. Yeah, yeah, Steve Pampering. Um, uh, I don't know if he took the Mastercraft of Thunder Hammer. Uh, I, I I don't know if he took the Mastercraft of Thunder Hammer, but I'm not sure it matters at this point. Um, we'll we'll definitely have to see, you know, what that Smash Captain does. But, um, even if you know he does manage to charge and kill a knight, that's a, still a dead Smash Captain. So I don't know. It's it's a really tough yeah. hole that uh, Ryan's in. Um, so what do you think about yeah, the drop pod placement? I wish, I wish Actually, Steve. I wish I was there. I'd, I'd be able to tell you if I saw the sheets. As a matter of fact, we have a judge in the chat right now who can tell us. Uh, yeah, mighty heroes. Ben, did did uh, Ryan take the Mastercrafted Thunderhammer on the captain, or what relic did he take? And we'll go into shooting. My heroes is plus one strength, strength and... and attack. Okay. Jeopardy theme insert it here. <laughs> Better than that Celine Dion. Jason's been playing all day. Hey, those are for epic yeah. moments when they when you so lose you, a you model. So I guess it matters because that. But you can for I mean, you must hear it all the time when so you play. I do. I play Grey Knights. Come on, give me right. a break. It's actually good. It's the right color yeah. as any character. Yeah. Compared to the other one. He did air quotes when he said play. Yeah. All right, we're gonna start with. Get off my lawn. Yeah. We're gonna go the pressers here into this guy. Okay. Uh, let me think. Yeah, I'm waiting. Uh, uh, are those two the only ones in range of the grab? Um, to answer your question about the relic, oh, okay. he actually took the teeth of tear on the loot. It as much. <laughs> we needed a not it's not going to do them a lot of good here. <laughs> Six shots. Did you guys fix Three, relics zero, for the one, tournament, person. or can he choose a different relic every... Your free relic is fixed. You can pick up extra relics, and they don't need to be on your list. Okay. I probably would have spent that CP, but if you only brought one smash cap, then I guess it's yeah. Six shots pointless. from them into him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it was an interesting one choice to yep. to leave his home objective alone. Fives, um, person, I think you can definitely put. Three, two, I think you can definitely put a uh, single hello, space rain model damage. on Got the objective over there. Uh, and make it yeah. so that you can't it can't be charged. Arkham. Thank you all much. He's at 21. Okay, last suppressor squad into him. Oh, yeah, I understand. Him. I understand, Steve. He's, he's got to support his. Is I, I um I understand, Steve, but, but uh, I don't know if I think, I don't think you're talking about Ryan, but if he's your buddy, um, he's he's not um, looking. It's not looking good for him. Right. I'll save one. Okay. It's nice. almost like we have to go to a seventh round, right, Ben? True champion. Uh, grabbing him. Oh, we'll see. So. I'm gonna we'll spend one for the, the other Yep, it's gonna hurt a lot. I hope so. I can guarantee you seven rounds if everyone shows up like they're supposed to, and like fifty percent more. <laughs> the awesome. be the how, how many people ended up coming to the oh, renegade? The the Seventy-two. So I get to mark right on. He hits on twos instead of threes. Okay. That'll be this guy. So everything there. Threes, twos on the red, re rolling ones, and this will be the artisans. Well, you're re rolling everything. You grab amp, right? Uh, not hits, wounds and damage. Not hits though. No, it's hits and wounds. It's wounds and damage. This happened to me twice today. Check it out. Yeah. Maybe they played wrong, but I think they. Yeah, wounds and damage. 
They've been playing oh. wrong all day. Yeah. Big free. Thanks, bro, Rolling for the compliment. Why are they doing that wrong? Which, I mean, that's probably better for you, actually. Yeah, it's about the same. <laughs> yeah, we're about the same. Um, so these are the rerolls. I'm just surprised they, they had two guys, I think, did that wrong. Yeah. Or maybe I just wasn't paying attention properly. So now I'm looking for five. Four rerolls. Shocked. All right, so we're going to have three, six, nine. That was a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. That's pretty bad. Mm, what do we got? Your Six. I got uh, 19 nice. wounds left. Are you, are you failed seven? I'm reroll one. Okay. <laughs> oh, you fail six? Is that okay, Brian? Yes. So damage rolls. I like that, man. I like that. I'm going to reroll all these one damage ones. I bet you are. So we're looking at nine and six <laughs> for 15. Jeez. Wow. Him, that's him. How many left? Four. Uh, I'm going to shoot the with the this cherub, the second guy again. Smarter. We'll shoot him. I didn't know you could do that again. Yeah. So what's the shooting at right now? Once Is it shooting the cascader? The yeah, they're shooting the cascader. So these are the wound. I haven't wounded yet. The cherub. Rerolls. Cherub. No wounds. Oh, that so works out. You're right. <laughs> it's once per game because they're going to die. <laughs> right. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, we're going to go with... Is how many left? Four. Four? Yeah, you gotta put some intercessors in them, pretty much. I don't have intercessors to shoot them with. Oh, I killed they, a lot, they didn't I? They fell back. Oh, yeah. You killed a lot, the other ones are hiding. <laughs> right. Damn! So, really Sad. Right now, wow. I will if I have to. Uh, Thunderfire Cannon, <laughs> first one there. Shots. Two's. Fives with a single reroll. So two. Minus two. I wounds. take that one. And two. All right. Two more wounds left. And the other Thunderfire Cannon will also go there. Can he do it? I'd like to make a couple saves here at the end. <laughs> That'd be nice. Fives. Reroll. One. Oh. Nope, One no left. saves for me, but he's not dead Those yet. I'll throw a grenade nice. with the librarian. Uh, misses, artisans. Misses. Oh. Oh, no, the storm. Oh, damn. Try it. <laughs> Jesus. This is just depressing. Two hits. Uh, sixes. Oh, thank you. Artisans. Oh. From the drop pod. Oh. <laughs> that would have been so embarrassing. I have to shoot the dreadnought there. Does he have and he has nothing else to shoot at? I might even right charge. Now, I kill it. Okay. I might even charge the librarian into him. I don't Fast know. Cannons. The librarian gets Three swing nine, first. Artisans. Yeah. One from the last cannon. <sighs> now he's shooting the right from dread into him. No. Oh. The three does. I rolled oh, a, I roll a th one and three. I reeled the one into a two. I'm being silly. Saved. Good. Auto cannons. Oh. Nope. He oh my gosh. Roll the one. Fives. <laughs> No reroll here, two of them though. They dead. There we go. Um, there it is. He's gonna blow up and kill everyone. Back whether or not I try to make yeah. him stand back. I think you gotta He's charge him so. I do. We should... I don't really wanna rely on my Overwatch oh, to kill that Oh, guy. he can make him stand up too. That's the best. You no, know, I actually think, Plus Jason, the, the shoot her sound clip would have been. Okay. Maybe I'll blow up anyways <laughs> and won't even be over here. This guy's might on him. I just I think Jason's been getting silly on. Celine Dion fix all weekend. That's what's I been. Think, I think he's a big Celine Dion fan. Boom. You know, it's really not um, that bad. Characters are the fucking Canadians. It's <laughs> the uh, uh, proper popper. If that thing would have been alive, that cascader has a. Uh, if I, need to. I think a fourteen shot gun on it. One wound. Yeah. That's uh, straight six, that negative two, three. flat two damage. Bracketed. He's got 12 left? Yep. Okay. Um, assault phase, probably. Let me make sure oh, I don't it's shooting gone. Like I did. Is this Knight the Spoiler a character? Assault phase, yeah. We're gonna go... Uh, I believe... Captain and him first. So... The, the Rampager over there, yes it is. Nope. He did pick the Kingslayer, yeah, didn't he? Then. Yep. Uh, that, that's a heroic Army intervention over there. Sure. That's actually... Oh, okay, uh, we'll he's being do... charged. 
These guys into him. Ah, uh, 16 shots. My bad. My bad. Considering rerolling hits. Is that anytime you shoot or just shooting face? It's Overwatch anytime? and Chosen nice. to shoot. And fight, actually. There you go. It's, it's an option. Ah. Uh, yeah. Tempting, but no. Right. <laughs> One. Uh, one, so that's a uh, three hit. Yep. Give me one of them. Minus two. Two. So I'll have a uh, five up. So I'm not, not outside twelves. Got one guy. Yeah. Sergeant's gonna go. In a uh, nine. Nope. Six here. Eight left. Hail Mary. Just re-roll that two. You may as well. I'm not gonna go for it. I wouldn't either. Yeah. <laughs> the lieutenant will go into the night there too. He will make it. Yeah, yeah Cascaders are really good. I think uh, oh, yeah. Pablo talked about it earlier. You know, that 14-inch right, movement uh, and putting uh, them on the line. You can, you can get them in a mess like they need to be. Or whatever it's called, yeah, or plus hit. The price tag isn't even that bad, though. They're the cheapest Sarastas Knight. Oh, 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 actually, I don't think they're the cheapest. Of, uh, the Lancer is the cheapest. I have six but, packs because of Imperium Sword. Strength but, 10. But they're, you know, they're cheap comparatively to some of the other Sarastas Knights. a revelation. Yeah. Freeze. That one's cocked. You have a save? No. No. Oh, we got a minus three. Oh, yeah, you'll have a six I'll up. A Artisans. Six. So five six ups. Wow. Hit one. How much damage each? Good point. They're also, I believe, twenty six wounds uh, instead of twenty four, which is a uh, good too. I'll make them blow up on a four sure. up. How many is that? I'll say the rampager's dead. Uh, ah, twenty seven. Ah, uh, rampager. There we go. Yep. And that, that and Rampage uh, explodes. Rings. Yep. That's why you pay the extra uh, three okay, to do it. Wish I could CP that now. Take your I mortals. I pretty much everybody in here. Yeah. Correct. You're Wish killing me, thinking. small. <laughs> hey, right. it's uh, for the stream. Scouts. Don't Scouts. judge. Intercessors. Just one. I just Nothing picture you here. driving home to like Lieutenant. a Nickelback oh. and Celine Dion mixtape. And Captain. I don't think Cody's gonna let me play oh, that great. music on the ride home. No, I'd rather die. <laughs> <laughs> we got Kingslayer. Got a morale on that scout there. Those were yes. two characters scout that uh, assaulted the despoiler. Four and four. He's leader eight. He's good. Correct. I got Kingslayer. I got. So if he know, moves that Morax over, Three he can target the characters. Oh, thank you. Kill hold. Mm -hmm. Got kill more, hold more. That look correct. You had kill and hold more. Enough. That was pretty good. Can't argue with that. I didn't expect two to die. Yeah, what a good turn. <laughs> Scores are updated, Jason. Okay, so at the end of, of one, run. thank you. So there's double thermal guy. Here are the scores up. right here, yeah. right now. Tie, <laughs> all tied, nine to nine. <laughs> so. Uh, Pablo, uh, were you thinking uh, this was going to happen at the end of turn one? I mean, yeah, he got his Kingslayer and his Titan Slayer points like I expected. Um, you know, he got him a little earlier, but uh, turn one, he didn't get... It, we'll see where his engineers go. And then the the Knight player's got to do some really good target priority here. This may be probably the, uh, the longest thought for the movement phase for the Knight player, would you think? <laughs> I'd like to shoot him. Uh, so I won't boost movement even. I don't like yeah. that I had to put him there, but I couldn't really risk not. Uh, I. I was shooting and of course, <laughs> you would have had a much easier time of everything if the. Mold I think that armor drive pop right. him I'm off really the objective to try and get closer to target at least one of those characters, but. Yeah, you just move him to uh, the right, and there are those characters Two are closer. Yeah, I wonder it's if you could actually move very straight it's, up. It's very possible for this dreadnought to die. This character dreadnought to die. 
Um, I think if I were the knight player here, I, I think I would move that here. Moirax over exactly where he's so. moving him, so. uh, and then try and kill this intercessor but, squad up here at the top. That single lone scout, uh, and then maybe these suppressors. Uh, but basically, you want this top back. thermal cannon knight to oh, shoot no, into that dreadnought. To, that's that's yeah, what I would be trying to do right now if I were the knight player. Because that dreadnought needs to die. Uh, and Keep then the grab cannon, the grab cannon squad Three. also needs to die. Uh, yeah, uh, I think if those two units die, I think nine. the knight player has it. And um, and hopefully his people. armagers don't die quickly, so that they can hold objective, uh, hold an objective. Sir, sir. Now is that the lightning lock Moriak over by the uh, grab cannon dude? Yes. yes. Yeah, I wonder, I wonder which one that is. That is the lightning lock marks marks. Every because that would be a good target to throw at those grab cannon guys. Oh, I think it is because when he assaulted him, he had he had a one six and it turned into three hits. Yeah, yeah that might is the like lightning. Some heavy stubbers and stuff at the at those marines. Just just you know to see how many I can kill. Um, because what's the what's the range of the lightning lock? It's like thirty six. Like forty thirty six. Yeah. So I would I might try to use that lightning lock to kill the suppressors or something or help kill inter those intercessors. I got fourteen inches of movement, so do whatever the fuck I want with it. Here's a weird question. Uh, oh, what do you think about taking that uh, armager next to the drop pod and then uh, just trying to kill out all the grab scents and then just charging the drop pod using your giant base to stay on the objective pretty much the rest of the game and just holding that? I know you're going to lose a lot of shooting, but then you wouldn't be able to get shot back either. I don't. I think if um, I think if maybe if you don't kill the dreadnought and you don't kill the suppressors, maybe you do that. Uh, just you know, just to save yourself a turn of shooting. Well, we'll um, you've got options. Start. I don't think that's necessary though if the shooting phase goes well. Right on. Yeah, start we have to wait till after this turn here, to see what uh, we need to do. But, but that's a good option enemy. though. That's a that's a really good point. Is that if your shooting phase goes Cannon goes thing. to shit, I, I might charge right the armagers uh, into um, the drop pod, the into uh, and then your grab armager you don't know, really care about as much. Right. Play stub. There were no repulsors in this does. list. No. Zero. Give me two. Uh, are you outside of 12? Yeah. No. No. What the fuck? Four ups. Got him. Big stub action. Iron Storm. You know what we forgot to do this year, Pablo? Again, eh? hmm. Big roll two. We did not bet on that Every Chargers time. and Chiefs game. <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't yeah, bet on. I would have bet on the Chiefs. Yeah. <laughs> into that one hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. No, not not to get not to Thanks. side you know sidetrack the conversation too much, but um, uh, uh Bam Bam and I have our uh, Bam's a Chiefs fan and I'm I a Chargers fan. One. Um, and they're obviously divisional rivals right. uh, if you follow the NFL. No, that's, that's um, and oh, uh, we usually like to give each other yeah, some yeah, ribbing whenever right. they play. So uh, then this year the Chargers are not doing too well. Uh, they they um. Well, just you know, they're just not doing too well. So I, I'm hoping that that uh, they lose all of their games and get a good pick, maybe an offensive lineman, maybe draft an entire new team. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, Are we talking about the Browns' strategy? Because they're winning right now, aren't they? They're winning first-round draft picks. No, no they're, the Browns are doing really bad. Right the, Browns the Browns are great if they're <laughs> swinging helmets at people. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm really glad I didn't split. So, yeah, three invictors uh, all went away turn one. So those things were off the board. Yeah, and it's amazing that despite the fact that he lost three invictor tactical war suits, that uh, the knights, you know, two still, knights still yeah, died. Yeah. Yeah. That's, you know, that, that's a definitely the, – the grab Good. squad did a lot of work. They yeah, they essentially so did most of the damage to one knight. And then, like I said uh, before – Everything else <laughs> went into yeah, the, the rampager <laughs> and almost killed it. And the, like, the smash like, cap had to go and finish it off. It yeah. So this model and that was model. expected, and that is like part of the reason <laughs> how bolters deal with knights is they just wait to fire one knight, and then you have one hammer unit like a grav oh, devastator squad hindrance. or something we'll that hurts another knight. These guys. Now, is there anything in deep strike for oh, the okay. space ring player? No, I think Iron the suppressor squads look like they're all on the board. Um, I believe they can go back into deep strike. Or is that? Is that? I don't know if they can I'd do that. I don't know if it's a. That should a be thing. the world. Am I gonna eat him? I, I never use them. Don't oh, there's Ben. Yeah, because say so that primary objective might be safe right. on the, oh, the chaos knight side of the board. Uh, I think it is. Put the thermal yeah. there instead. Sure. So it's gonna be Iron Storm, uh, Gatling. Yeah. Yeah, it, yeah. Steve, I yeah. agree. Steve, yeah. Steve Pampreen saying that it's so. really important that the smash captain lives. Thermal. Um, he, you know, he's really important, and um, that smash captain is gonna be. If everything goes well for the night player, the best chance for 
for Ryan to kill these knights. No save. He's super dead. Almost forgot I was supposed to shoot him. That would have got awkward. Let's take a look. Listen to uh, Scott's shooting phase right now. Avenger. Seems all right. Yeah, I'll take that. Won't take that. Minus two, so I'm looking at fours. Oh, that's four sixes. Oh, um, two dead. Man point one of these. Iron Storm. Who wants to play finally? Give me three on these guys. Two? One. One? Three ups? Good. Yep. Covers. Two. <laughs> I won. Yeah. Just pulling off. Doesn't matter which. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Shoot one gun out of them for sure. I wound anybody a little bit over there? No. Um. Shoot that one. If I got the range, yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm out. Oh, I'll shoot those ones. These ones? Yeah. Yeah, you got it. Over here. I'm surprised he's not shooting these intercessors. Sixes are four extra hits. Yep. The more the uh, Morax is still near the six uh, them for minus two characters than the intercessors. I don't think that I don't think he has an issue <laughs> in terms of oh, time to fail you're shooting these suppressors right. on the bottom of yeah. the screen with the, uh, with and, the Morax uh, with, the with the locks. Into them. Oh no, he just wiped out the grab. Come back in and then and then he's shooting these. Now this is the second gun into the other suppressors. Right. I'll give me four of them. But it looks it looked like he had range to the intercessors. Onwards. Oh damn. He keeps trying to target the suppressors. Like he wanted to shoot the other ones up top, but was yeah. out of range. That's true. Yeah, maybe. I mean, you, maybe ben. he just thinks that he's not going to get that dreadnought at all. Yeah, I really needed that capitan to die. Things are going to get interesting now. Sadly, no one wants that. Not right. Yeah, I like interesting, I think, here. <laughs> Look at it, charges. That yeah, captain is within range of smashing up a knight the next. I think I actually charged those intercessors with that guy. Probably. Stopped them from taking the overwatch for the captain. Probably. Yeah, I make that charge. Yeah, yeah. so if these intercessors uh, right here die... Four shots. The the, the shots, thermal cannon grenade? can kill grenade? the smash captain. Then all right, it, 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 it's, it feels like overkill, but these wound. the smash captain is very important. Yeah. D3. Also, if these intercessors so die, the then there, the captain, the two characters don't block for the dreadnought, and this knight at the top might be able to shoot the character dreadnought. There. No? He's so already on the charge phase, so I, don't have I know it's too late now. So I don't agree for, yeah, with I his decision it, to so, to shoot the suppressors. Gotta get outside our heroic then. I don't know if you can with six or five. Yeah, I gotta see what I can do with my piling, maybe. Let's go right there ish, and I can tuck in here. Yeah, but I get to it's... heroic before you pile. Yeah, heroic. I know. I'm. Yeah. You're right. You're right. My bad. Um. So I gotta go over there with a better roll if I want that to happen. How many attacks is he gonna get? Seven ish? Seven. What's the AP on that thing? Minus two. Two damage. Strength. Uh five. When you on fives. That's a lot of attacks. I reroll one's a wound, some lieutenant. Yeah. Um and one's the hit because you're captain. Next Correct. Thing. All right, what would you guys do? Would you re-roll? I'd re-roll. 
Unless you were trying, green. unless you're trying to like blow How many CP up. does the night player have left? I need to save him. Okay. Oh. Three. Right. Come in. I don't think I would reroll. With oh. both, I think. Uh, really? Yeah. Oh, then I can't do that. I thought it was just gonna be the one. Wow, it's really, really clutch right here. This Stuff is where the meat there and potatoes of competitive 40k is yeah. right here. If I can get in right here, yeah. I believe so if, if you, I go. So if you go five, uh, I don't know if you're within an inch there. I think, can I keep him out yeah, on Steve, the captain? I, do you think? I don't know. If I don't. Know. I'm, I'm with you on that. <laughs> um, here, let's do uh, this. Four up it. Yeah, you can make a call. Yeah. Fine by me. I'd, I'd rather. Can I go here with my five inches and? Not within an inch, be heroically like, intervened yeah. on. I, I think there's I a path to do it. I want to go slanty that way as much as I can. There were no repulsors on the board, Valerie. There's no repulsors it's in the three. list. So I keep thinking it's right. four, so that should be... So we got Ben is making a call on the table. Right. That's what I would like to Perfect. do. Perfect. Just can Lieutenant, you, then. Ben, yep. we can are you in explain agreement. that call for us, please? So they asked me to make a measurement on the charge so that the smash captain couldn't that, heroically Scott. intervene into the armager oh, or war dog. Man, really screwed up if I let the captain yeah. do that I'm actually not going to base you either with the heroic. Maybe. No, I will. I don't want you to move away. Going away. Um, I'll swing into the intercessors. Yeah, you have to. You didn't no, I didn't charge the other guy, yeah. yeah. I don't know why I was thinking so hard. But... <laughs> Give me three of them, minus one. Yeah, Steve, I've done the same thing. I've definitely rolled so a charge, taken an overwatch, and, and then afterwards that. realized I didn't want to make the charge, and then just moved zero inches. Uh, we'll swing with the lieutenant. Seven. Plus he has a regular chain sword, which will be the red. That's just strike four. Uh, rear ones. Hit them all. Three. Three for Tifa Terra. And then one for Heroicing for Angels of Death. Yeah. Uh, Reroll ones and an artisan one. All right, so we're gonna add four from Tifa, five from Tifa Terra oh, and man, one from a regular. So five, minus two? five at minus two. All right, we're good. So you take four. Yeah, and take four. four. <laughs> okay. Ouch. How many do you have left? Six. Yes, sir. Um. Intercessors. Three, That's a really three. good shot of an ultramarine's army fighting a three. knight. <laughs> uh, chain sword sergeant. You're welcome, Pablo. They're, they're ultra iron marines. <clears throat> <laughs> You're T7, right? Yeah. So I'll reroll this from the captain. Artisans. Fives. One so far. Lieutenant. Artisans. Just one. On a five? Yeah. This is my turn to get greedy. I'm going to swing twice with the uh, lieutenant. Ooh. I actually count that as him well spent then. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, lieutenants, I don't think hit on uh, two. Artisans. Do they? Five again. They do. They do. Their weapon do skill too. I'm pretty sure he did. Oh, the, are their weapon no. skill too? Okay. <laughs> I'm alive! Wow. All right, so it looks oh, like he's alive. That's the best one wound that's ever happened in the game, right there. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. That's a thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Suka, I agree. I agree entirely. Right, I think the night player the, really the devs, uh, made a mistake. The librarian, the scout. Yeah, we talked about that earlier about his target priority. Three. Okay, we'll get a yeah. uh, live score update. I got from my pile. Valerie, everything here. is on so the board. So give me a butcher's, please. Kill and hold. Yeah, that stuff happens at the end of his. Okay. He has full wounds. Yeah. You have no save in combat. Correct. Well, I get sixes against the thunder. Yeah. 
There goes. There goes the uh, what was that? Yeah, he was captain. supposed to die. That was a okay, he'll die calculation on my part. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Oh, look at that. Kill him in combat. These guys Red are inner shooting what are they? Air. They're moving on up. Okay, Pablo, since you are the uh Spurf aficionado, uh thoughts on this turn. Uh the space thoughts on, on what's gonna happen in the Space Marines turn or, or thoughts on, on yes. the night player's turn? On the night player's turn. Uh, well, I think we already kind of talked about it. it there wasn't much that went on, uh, basically, as target priority. Um, I felt like it was a little off. This Space Marine player's turn right now, He's a. this is this might be the turning point in the game. Um, if the Space Marine player can really do what I think he's trying going to try and do, which is basically um, he's going to try and uh, get that that uh captain into the night on the top um the suppressor squad's gonna try and maybe eat the overwatch uh, and then this captain uh can go into this night double attack um and potentially with the dreadnought kill it and if this if scott loses this knight on the top uh, he loses his ability to to uh break this game open um these suppressors right here they're really fast they're on the other side of the wall uh, and then scott's only got two armagers which can be easily tagged uh left to shoot plus one night um so scott's not gonna have a lot of shots left and uh ryan is i i think intelligently moving out and being more mobile now because he realizes that if he takes this knight out to the top that he has the ability to basically play ring around the rosie on the board with knights chasing him uh, and win the game that way um, he's not going to get kill or he's not going to kill more for the rest of the game uh, so um, it, that's it not like something really that he has to worry about he just needs there. to maybe get yeah. kill once and then he needs to try and get hold hold more and hopefully the bonus cool well let's take a quick break from the stream table action let's go look at uh aaron and michael's game at table two of the tournament Tur currently at the end of turn one it is four to two with michael in the lead uh, not a lot has happened. I think probably a lot of stuff has died. And uh, I think we'll have... I Personally, I think it's gonna probably going to be more of Iron Father and Iron Son that are going to be winning this tournament. So, <laughs> well, well, so Aaron... So, um, first off, the Aaron's list is not a turn one list. Uh, Correct. He got held more. He moved up the board. He got some board position. Uh, Aaron's list will very much put up points very quickly. So what might end up happening is um, it looks like Michael got kill, kill more, and hold. Uh, but... Um, we're, we're, Aaron's list has the capability to put up a lot of points um, very quickly in and on like turn three or turn two. Um, so I would maybe come back to this game on turn two or turn three and see where Aaron's at. Uh, but right now, um, obviously Michael's going to be just killing a ton of guardsmen, doing a lot of damage, uh, and then Aaron's list will hopefully pop off. That's the kind of, this kind of, uh, you know, quick game analysis that I expect this game to play out. That, as. That's correct. We actually definitely saw him spring a try to spring a trap for uh, Tyler Devise in the second game. It was pretty awesome, uh, and that was actually in turn two. We actually think he may have tried to spring the trap a little early by bringing in his uh, uh, centurions, assault centurions. But uh, you know, uh, we'll check back after turn turn two and turn three to get more score updates. So let's go back to the main action. I think, I believe, it looks like Ryan is shooting right now. So we'll go to the floor with him shooting. So one wound. Saved. Okay. Pressers there. All right. Actually, at this point, we're going to go suppressors in the other one. Let's start with them. Valerie. Oh, Four sorry. shots. All right. All Thanks, you guys, for following the channel. We appreciate it. Uh, we are nothing, at artisans, nothing. 611 Other followers, and man, we do tournament coverage all through the Midwest, artisans. so if you have a tournament so that you'd like us to cover, contact us, and we can do it. Artisans, one. Yep. Two damage. You're down to 22? Yep. Okay. We're going to go with the first Thunderfire Cannon in yeah, there. Yeah, Valerie, um, to defend my boy Reese, uh, he also has gone on record as saying... Space Marines are a problem. Um, I think right. I think 
everyone in the community Oops. realizes that space runes are tough. Um, so, you know, uh, uh, like, uh, you, you, you know, there's not bias there. You know, Reese is probably, I know it appears that way to a lot of people. It can appear that way. But um, Reese actually tries his best to be as unbiased as possible when it comes to, to um, the factions and stuff. Except and Tau. it's actually easier now. Really Ex except just, Tau, of course. He drinks their tears. That's what sustains him. Um, so we can't fault Unlikely. him. You know, you can't. You don't fault a snake for eating uh, a live we'll animal. You don't fault Reese for producing Tau tears to survive. And it's great because he's not here to defend himself. There's the no missing back. Nothing. Drop pot, I'll shoot at him, I guess. Oh, four shots. I'll hit fives. Artisans, two. Next one. Hit. Assault phase, the suppressors first. Oh, let me make sure I didn't need to shoot anything else. I don't think so. He shot. Oh, the single suppressor, actually. He does need to shoot. He will go into the snipe. Two hits. Artisans. One. Boy, take it. All right. Now the suppressor's charging. I'll declare him as well. I will do the thing where I reroll hits for the phase. Seems like a good choice. Yeah. Might feed you a kill here. I don't know. If they do make it, it's it's good. Uh, thermals. Seven. One of them. One of them's dead. Uh, Iron Storm. Dang. Never know. Ferris, you can see List and BCP. Best Coast yeah, Pairings if you don't, don't have the app. It's great. You can also go to our uh, Twitch panel on the uh, page if you're viewing this from uh, the browser. Or nice. That's not enough. I actually need like a six. Yep. I gotta roll it. I think he needs there. Fan point. I make it. Damn it. All right, fail on the other guy because that would be funny. I know. I'm I'm worried about it, but I'm like, if he just dies to Overwatch, it doesn't matter anyway. No, he's good. Yeah, that's too bad. I messed no, up. Eight. I'm actually gonna measure this so I can get to the objective. Yeah, you're fine. You're on the objective. Okay. Look at that game he's not gonna right there. The pile like that way. Hmm. Um, they're gonna charge. Yeah, they'll charge there. Yeah, that was a really good move. That was a really good thing that happened for the space room player. I nice. think I threw this game away if this goes bad. He'll Oof. charge here too. Hey, Cody. Looks like you're going to get a W. <laughs> yeah, but not the one I wanted. <laughs> Going first, so obviously. if you guys are following I now, we made uh, predictions. So four base, Imperium sword, angels of death, six packs. We'll show you after this um, round. Not gonna spend anything. Thing on threes, we're rolling ones and artisans. Uh, I thought you might actually miss. Strength ten, so threes. We're rolling, so six. Mm. Six ups, right? Mm-hmm. Made one, not so much. That's twenty damage. Exactly what you needed. I can't believe all freaking four of those rolled in. You explode. Oh, 
I really screwed up. That's too bad. And then over here, I guess the lieutenant will swing away. He's got six. No angels. There we go. Plus the uh, chain sword. Uh, artisans. Does he blow up? No. <laughs> yeah, I, I wounded a whole lot. So. All right. All right. Uh, the max titan slayer. Oh yeah. Got one engineers there. I hold a kill. I can't hold believe more. I gave that back to him. I'm so mad. Go kill one. Oh no. Nope. I have priority for bonus. What a what a huge swing of events. Um, Adam, what are your thoughts on what just happened? It just shows right now that you more or less have to play perfect if you have to play against Iron Hands. <laughs> And to make sure all your marking, yeah, it's yeah. and then in this case it was just the target priority like Pablo talked about. He, instead of shooting, he shot for some reason he was more scared of the suppressors I can't believe than I the smash gave captain. That away. Oh man, that's not. He done fucked up. <laughs> Pablo, thoughts? Yeah, yeah. So um, you know. You, I think that the, obviously the target priority was a big deal. Uh, the, Ryan did exactly what he needed to do. Um, he waited for the knights to come to him, struck, uh, right. and then played a really patient game. So, so Scott, there was also some bad luck on Scott's part. Um, he he was yeah, rolling a lot of uh, three ones and twos or, or on four up saves and three up saves. So um, I will give that to Scott, but I do think that ultimately this game came down to uh, one player made a mistake and a really good list was able to capitalize on it, and a really good player too. What do you think the mistake was? Was it not targeting the uh, two characters uh, with his uh, war dog? I think the, the make mistake was very simply uh, not committing all of his knights to one side, uh, and and the target priority on the character, right? Oh, so the Cascader went around the, the bottom three, side. Now that's one, probably one. fine. But I think if you so loop the rest of your knights around, um, you can push that top side better. And th that top side's a weak side because all the characters are already front-loaded to that side, and the Dreadnought <laughs> was too. So the more knights you have up here on the top right side of your corner, the more ability you will have to shoot and kill that Dreadnought. Uh, and then the left, the left side of the map was just completely abandoned. So you don't need to actually need to worry about that side. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. It, the game's still not over yet. This, this, uh, you know, this is only turn well, two. <laughs> turn three's but, beginning right now. Um, yeah, so you know, the knight player, if this knight, this uh, well, whatever they're called, this knight um, destroyer desecrator, uh, if uh, it goes ham, our... uh, manages to do really well. Uh, there's I don't not think a it lot matters. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I don't. I don't think it matters either, up. but uh, we'll see. Cool. No, we, he, he got it last time. I think his biggest mistake was uh, not playing Iron yeah, Hands. Just clog me out. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that for everything. I played on one person's clock and finished. I so think it is in this point. method, it's fitting. <laughs> I think we could. Now, I've been it told nice. that uh, Iron Hands increases your right. war Warhammer skill it's by plus six. Too. Is that accurate? Is it six or is it ten? So, Pablo, we got them fool asking, what makes this Iron Hand list so awesome? The rules. <laughs> <laughs> they out of that charge range. Uh, that wasn't, you. you heard it here first, though. <laughs> um, uh, no, what makes it a good list is it's very, I very really durable. screwed up. <laughs> uh, you know, it's just it's that hard night to hadn't gone in for bodies. no reason over there. Um, that I just there's a lot of shooting still. that can go. <laughs> uh, and then. The uh, one two punch of the, grab, the, for God's sake. the grab squad, on, buddy. Uh, and something else, right? So it always lets you, it always lets you, uh, can you see be something able to kill or is he just one big he thing. Can't, he's hiding. Um, like a knight, 
uh, and then you pretty much play against every other army play either an objective game or a horde clearing game which is really good at both um, so that's kind of what makes the list good is that it's it's surprisingly really durable uh, and you, you know it does have like a, a, a good solid haymaker punch in the, the squad the devastator squad um, I, th I still think the night player should have probably won this game um, uh, but maybe maybe not maybe knights don't have as good a matchup going into this list as I expected. No, I think they do. It, the, the knights have this almost the same durability as the iron hands. But like I said before, it, it's not as forgiving as space marines in general, not just iron hands. The top gun will go into that one man squad, and the stubber will go into that wounded intercessor because it's fun. <laughs> Well, it, it's interesting that you say that the Imperial Fist would have won this game as well, Demofool, uh, because the Knight player actually just beat a really good Imperial Fist list and a really good player last round, um, and, and he beat him. And I don't think it was I don't think it was like a blowout. Let me just go ahead and pull up the the score right now. But um, the, yeah, so you know he he's capable of beating this list. He already beat an Iron Hands player round one. He beat a space. He beat the Imperial Fist player round five. And he played a bunch of various Imperium lists and a Knight list. Um, so I think he had the capabilities to beat it, to to beat a list like this Iron Hands list. Let's go ahead and. Uh, and and yeah, he beats he beat Tyler DeVries the Imperial Fist list thirty one to eighteen. Um, so you know a, a good solid victory. feeling a little more dodgy. Give me four of them in my score. Oh yeah, just bring the whole bunch. Three? Oh, maybe. That loss to Tyler was more bad luck on Tyler's part. Tyler missed every single Assault Centurion charge out of Deep Strike. Can you get dice stories from this weekend, babe? That was one of them. Every single one had a reroll. <laughs> Six shots. Trying. Trying to make up for it. I can't believe I didn't kill that. There you go. <laughs> Two? Two. Minus one? one. Three up. Yeah, that is definitely going to cost me a lot of joy. That's a two-point swing. Ain't nothing I can do about it. Charge! At least that worked out. Yep. Give me with that storm boulder. Hero pod. Artisans. Nothing. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I might give it a little damage. We'll give it two real stomps. And two. Nothing or nothing. Nothing's. <laughs> well, they're hitting. They're wounding with one. Oh, yeah, because they're strength eight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Save it. Alright, whatever. I don't think I could have killed it even if I'd rolled all these things stomps. Give me one at minus two. That's funny. <laughs> Drop pod. Alright. Do you hold a thing? I do. It's a, a terrible day to be me. Alright, how do we want to play this? Do I even go? I mean, I guess the Dreadnought keeps taking pot shots if we can get there, but I don't think we can. And you guys are live, shoutcasting? Right. We're just watching uh, I couldn't kill your <laughs> The Last Gasp. Oh, I'm so upset about if that. If this were an MMA fight, I'd be waiting for the ref to dive on the uh, Chaos Knight player. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm still trying to figure out how he can how he can win. There's still you know four turns. There's turn three, turn four, turn five, and turn six. So, um, you know he he's playing really conservatively, uh, and you know he's he's which is the right call. So. 
Uh, does the knight have uh, full wounds? Uh, I do believe it's down. I think it's only down to like uh, 21 or something like that. It's basically on full. 18, sorry. Okay, so next turn. But the unit behind the wall can screen his character dread, so that character yeah. dread's going to get another turn of shooting at the at the knight that's got a few yeah. wounds left. Don't worry about that. Yeah, engineers. He's going to max out his engineers because all that stuff behind the wall is not touched on the objective. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to hold more for the rest of the game. I'm just not seeing it. I don't well, think it has the, the gas. Uh, he could throw up the Morax up top, but that's where the Smash Captain's going to have to go. Mm -hmm. Right. Actually, before I go to and hope that he kills him in Overwatch again? Or puts him, I mean, that's the only <laughs> shot he has, really. Let's see if I can. Yeah, it, it's definitely gonna be rough. I think if you're the knight player, if you get kill, kill more, um, and just hope you roll five up invulns, uh, you've got a chance. That's what I would be shooting for, anyways. Yeah. Who was the warlord in the space marine list, by the way? The smash captain. It's the smash captain. All right. Well, the chaos knight player picked old school, so he's he's got to get that line breaker, and he's got to get slay the warlord to max that out. I don't think he's gonna get either. That's what I'm saying. He's gonna. He's not gonna get that. Um, I would almost hide the smash captain at this point, or put him on the objective and put the suppressor in front of him. Yeah. And that will end my turn. That's always a favorite strategy of mine. Is whenever you just kind of look at the board and go, "Well, I hope I roll good, or he rolls like crap." <laughs> Here's a shitty one. Okay. One. One damage. What? Over no, one. eight. Yeah, zero AP. Take oh, one. take a damage. And here's the stomps that I was doing. Seven left. Guy has two wounds, too. I got lost. And an intercessor has a wound. What am I doing? I got another three. It's got to come. Uh, for the record, uh, FWC Ben A is a judge, not a ref. <laughs> Take four. Yeah. One. I'd pay money to see Ben dive on the table, though. That'd be kind of cool. All right. So I hold. I hold more. I bonus. You get a kill or a hold. So three, one there. Was it? I think if you put a whole bunch of uh, Eldar hold, flyers hold with Dorito bonus, bases, he would dive on anything okay. for that. Hold and hold more and bonus. Okay. Yep. And I, uh, what did I get? You got a hold. I got a hold. I kill. I can't. And I got it. engineers. I don't know if you marked it or not. I didn't kill, right? No. Yeah. Is the blue one the I one you moved? I should have two on engineers. Because he said he got Which the bonus. battle round is this? Three. Battle round four. Four? Yeah, yeah. I'm curious to see we're, how. We're going into four. Sorry, that was three. Bonus. Yeah, I don't think I can come back. I can't believe I messed that up. It was a great first turn. It was a good first me. turn. And then I I came into this game knowing he needed to be a hero, and he was a hero. Yeah, I I usually take care of them really easy with just like well all the like, tricks you saw. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It, it didn't work. I passed the saves. <laughs> that was that was yep. it right there. I was prepared to command point. The gravity part, I, I I got greedy. He should have been away. Yeah. And then I think this game is mine. Because uh, those guys would all be dead. And I'd just be that guy and the lieutenant. But I gave it away. And you played too well. Stop that. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> all right, I got to put him somewhere. Pretty sure I'm not going to buff him on anything. <laughs> you want to just take wounds? I see the intercessors. They didn't run far enough. Yeah, I gotta go like right here. Yeah. So I might mess my charge back in up. <laughs> uh, so I'll I'll boost my movement again and give you more damage for free. Two of them again. Two. What are you down to? Like fourteen? No, it's not 15. that bad. Oh, oh. nope, you're right. <laughs> I thought I had two more. Fourteen yeah, it you is. Took them last turn. Yeah, I know. I just yeah, I, I thought I had more before that. Oh. 
Single 13. I don't need to go that oh, far. Oh, it gives you plus one to charge is what it does, right? That's why I cared. Just so you know what, what guys? At least they're it. playing in and out, so there won't be any uh, any indication of collusion getting max points, because that is a red card, right, Adam? Depends, but usually yes. But right there. Yep. Sounds good. Like the gun. Jason, what was the objective and, uh, that the Chaos Knight player moved? Into... Uh, I do believe it was uh, that blue one in the top right corner. Okay. It was the blue. Oh my god, why would you move and that one? Literally everything else in the intercessors. Either one. Okay. I thought you had to move one. I thought you had to move well, one that was. Uh, yeah, I thought it had to be in your deployment zone. It had to be in your deployment zone. Yeah, yeah, I don't know how he got the bonus in. You may want to ask. Do you want me to shed some light I mean, on that it, for you guys? I mean, it, I mean, it's not going to matter, but I mean, just. Ben, school us, please. So the night player moved that objective on the top right because his entire army was going to get aggressive and pull into his zone. So if he wanted to hold the bonus, it had to be close to his zone. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's right. Uh, Don't you have to move one in your objective? In your, in your deployment, deployment zone? zone? My favorite drop pod. No? Yeah, there's a reason, like I said, I, I yeah. didn't want this to happen until now. <laughs> uh. Well, I really messed this whole thing up. I'm dead. Okay. I don't know. I only helped write it. Uh, <laughs> we'll do the Iron Storm quick. Give me one save. All right. Avenger. Wow, this guy just is wants to nail my coffin closed for me. Right. <laughs> We did all right there. Four and minus two. Okay. So we're going to add fours. All right. The guy. Got one. The wounded guy. It just says that you have to choose a separate objective. Should have stubborn first. There's the starting with the player that chose their deployment zone yeah, first. All right. Okay. So for the crushes cargo, before the game begins, each player choose a separate objective, their priority objective, to descend starting with the player that chose their deployment zone first. After yeah, deployment zones that. have been determined, but before deployment, in the order established above, each player may move their priority objective up to six inches from their original position, so as long as it's more than six inches from a table edge or 12 inches from another objective. They hold the bonus if they hold both priority objectives at the end of the turn, so that's player turn. Right. So mistake number two. I don't have any targets for him, right? No. Other than the dr dropout itself. You can kill the drop pod if you want. No thanks. I'll make some charges. Okay. Uh, we'll start with the big guy. Artisans, one hit. Doesn't wound. Artisans, it does not wound. He makes it. Want to put my big guy back? Yeah, I got you. Um, something like here. I don't know how you yes, want to. Yes, please. Um, yeah, because they're way over here. It doesn't matter. Yeah, a little. Guy will try to come around for safety too. Yay, 10 inches on the objective still, please. Yep. Perfect. Pile. Uh, no, I actually want to keep it. Do you want to keep them off? Yeah, because that gives me range in, in, sure. in case a target presents itself. All right, well, then I'll give you the full since I'm moving. Um, yeah. Angled is perfect, angled? actually. Yep, right. just where he had it. I liked it. Awesome. I don't want to I don't want to screw you up. It's almost certainly not going to do anything. <laughs> All right. You're good to go. Uh, yeah. Um, how many wounds did I put on that thing? It has three left. Three left? Yeah, you put five, because two of the battle cannons went through and did, or the stomps went through and did four. And That's you, it. It only has eight. Oh. Yeah. Oh, shoot. I screwed up. Uh, everybody's doing bad ones. Okay. Yeah, it only has eight wounds. So, big guy. I'm hearing that a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. Now you're deciding to do well. One. All right, and the little guy will swing. Can I choose not to swing? Of course not. <laughs> Trap attacks, I'm sure. Wow. He hit them all. What strength is he? All right, just one. Just one. And minus he, one, he actually. He six. All right, good. He saved it. He saved yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he strikes six. Hey. All right, you got to kill. Get I did. Kill and hold. I am getting every point I can hope for. Right. 
You have yourself a three for big game, right? I sure do. Okay. I'm going to complete that one. Yeah. Yes, you are. I got to do it in the last battle round, though, if I can help it. Yep. Now I'll get another point out of that, then. You going to move anything? Aww. Yeah, I hold, I hold more, I bonus. I and wish I, it wasn't I, the easy bonus round. And I engineers. Oh yeah, I'm, we're just gonna go ahead and put that all the way to the top. You get kill more. I sure do. And you're up. I killed too much stuff early, so the butcher's bill is too hard now. This is. Where everybody was yelling at Rocky it's, to throw it's in the towel for a actual problem with lists like this. Like I actually had it happen to me when I was playing against the mirror. I, I think it'd like, be fine if I was I hadn't trip crippled myself, but yeah. or excuse me, your thunder hammer hadn't messed me up. <laughs> Ignore line of sight. I I will no, nope, doesn't help. I was thinking about buffing my Iron Storm. I will Iron Storm one of your healthy suppressors. All right. This guy again. The other one. Th he saved too much. I like it. Shots. Two. Minus one. Threes. Can't even command point. I'm a him. winner. <laughs> I was absolutely going <laughs> to command point that too. Oh, of course you were. That's a huge. Th that's two point swing. Well, I mean, I, mean, I think you, you still the, win. You could kill the pod, but I'm not killing the pod. You don't want. You might. That's next turn. Yeah. Okay. Are you going to charge there? I assume no. Yeah, charge yeah. back in. Oh yeah, you don't want the dread, the dread not to shoot you. You want to just scoot right back where you were? Mm-hmm. Okay. Good. You make it. He'll do shitty things. Why do you keep hitting now? <laughs> I should have hurt myself just so I didn't hit as good. Right. I guess I, you know, I gotta need to hit good next time. Give me three. Okay, good boy, good boy. And then the little guy is not charged anymore, so well, okay, he's gonna hit everything anyways. Uh, one, no AP now. All right, cool. All right, thanks, you get, Pod. You get your kill and your hold. And I got kill more. And you got kill more, and I'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna sit. Uh, yeah, I know you are. Uh, so you got hold, hold more bonus. And engineers. Yeah, I already maxed that for you. Okay. Uh, I got hold more. Jason, do you have a quick score? You got me by seven points now? That's too bad. Yeah, we'll get it pulled up for you. <laughs> I wish I was going second now. <laughs> I don't think you wanted to go second, though. No, it would have been terrible. <laughs> you would have won really fast. The way uh, those saves were going. Okay, how do we think about this? Can I try to figure out any kind of points that'll boost me? So I can get him for a BGH yep. and uh, kill that one possibly for a uh, Butcher's. Yep. And that um last kill swings me three up with you. Yep. And you'll pull one more ahead though for in the return. So two. Yeah, I can't catch up at all, even if I hail Mary anywhere. No. Just right, I just want to bring up points. the predictions that we made at the beginning of the oh, game. Let's shake hands on that one. Good game for Good that, game, but I'm going to try to find my last few points. Absolutely. You probably so get Cody. one too if you move in your knight this way. Congratulations if, for winning. If you're coming, but then you kill my knight, <laughs> and then I lose Yay. <laughs> no, I just gain points. I know it hurts your soul. Kill my knight? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you yeah, two. you know. I, I don't know. <laughs> the predictions are always funny. It. Um... Thanks. You know, playing to get uh, points. But That's I can't get line breaker. But um, it was it was a it was a good early yeah. game, um, and it was a good clinic on how to so play against hiding, Space Marines, uh, or play against an army that's oh, that's uh, really good right, and has a low right. margin for error. I was, well, I was thinking about. Yeah, I agree. I agree, one hundred percent. But stay tuned for the uh, interview. 
because we're going to be giving away a bloat drone and a night decimator, all both new in box. So woo woo! Wow, you should be giving out Iron Hand stuff. <laughs> Hey, that's already been uh, sold out everywhere. Sold out. <laughs> two point swing for you. I lose one for Kilmore. Or if not, uh, Pablo has uh, used Ultramarines in his uh, online store. <laughs> I, I definitely have used blue Iron Hands. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, uh, go to Frontline Gaming slash Frontline Gaming dot org slash Secondhand Shop uh, for more information on that. Thanks. And if you want to hear more of uh, Ben Sherwin and myself, uh, tune into the Fly Monkeys Wargaming podcast. You mean Banana Ban? Banana Man. No, ban, nobody, ban. nobody calls him that but you. I call him that. Is a point. BGH is you don't count. Point. Why not? Yeah. I'm a human being. Yeah. <laughs> if you're looking for more information or inside information for LVO, be, check, be sure to check out TFG Radio. Since it does feature three of the judges uh, for LVO. And I think one, one of them knows what they're actually. Uh, if I epoxy the Doritos and paint them, would they be like the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I could. Oh, man. If you paint them, we probably wouldn't notice. No, I'm looking. Well, they get you a lot more points. <laughs> Need some but, uh, go, go, uh, ghost pepper Doritos for your bases, Ben. <laughs> That's pretty so awesome. Now that you asked and I know about it, the answer's no. All right, they're finishing up scoring right now. Butchers. I can't believe you're trying to hobby shame Ben like that. I hobby shame everybody. That's four if I get that, and you might pull that one away. It's been a really enjoyable game, guys. For our viewers watching out there, thank you very much. You are the best viewers out there. Two. You want to do it and do the giveaway now? Yeah, let's do it right now. We're waiting them for them to finish up the scores. So, uh, I, I guess we'll give away the bloat me. drone first. I lose two if I don't go for it. So I think so. I think you're going for a nice. All right. So we had 67 folks right now. Don't kill all of it. Cool, and mm -hmm. this is for the bloat mm -hmm. drone. 14 wounds, right? There's a chance. Here we go, everybody in the chat. Yeah, but I have to do that. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not the winner. We got to delete this, sorry. Okay, and one through 67, go. Uh, did I click it? I did, so 41. <laughs> Phelps, one, two, two, seven. Hey, you're the winner. Message the channel. We will get information, to, we'll get information from you so we can go ship out this bloat drone. So congratulations on that. And then, I think we'll, you also give away the night? Yeah. Yeah. Does Brian want it? I think Brian wants the night, right? You talking to me? Right. I'll take a night. Okay, cool. Here we go. One through 67. Oh, night nope, not yeah. tools. Uh, yeah. Hey. Struggle, snuggle. Nope, and not you, Brian. Sorry. Yep, line breaker and last strike. Boom. All right. Oh, yeah, That's Sarek. I actually own yeah. uh, Chaos Knights and Imperial Knights army. Uh, how many wounds on each? Yes, yeah, so do I. Dropped it back down. Sarek's yeah. SVT. Six and 14. Yeah. Cool. Oh, All right, know, guys. Contact man. us uh, on the right, uh, Twitch channel, and we will get you cool those guy. prizes shipped out to you. So congratulations. Artisan 2. 67, right? So they are oh, playing this game damage. out. Mm -hmm. That's pretty Artists awesome. There. Two hits. Artisans. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Thunderfire can number one. At this roll. point, it's Actually. like asking the hooker to cuddle afterwards. <laughs> yeah, Thunder, not... Thunderfire number one will go there. <laughs> for no extra price. Uh, I'm not paying for that. Not. We just got word in from the judges, and I do believe uh, sexual Artisans, assault charges have been... Wounds. Uh, Pulled against uh, Brian for his uh, just okay. utter shaming of this game. <laughs> uh, into the big boy. Yeah, Chaos Knights are out there like hashtag me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. We are going to get so much hate mail. Send it to pbob at gmail.com. You mean you are. Show me on the Moriax where the Iron Hands touched you. <laughs> 
loving it. I'm going to do the six stalker bolts. Hey, solo. peace out, them fools. So this will be the solo guy for artisan purposes. Hit. Three old these. One. Loving it. And the dreadnought. I'm going to keep rolling you. Right? <laughs> Auto cannons. Three old ones. Uh, two. Not going to re roll there. You Take four. Yeah. We we said it came down to the last cannons. That one's cocked. They both hit. Artisans. Only one. I can't die! <laughs> you can't die. <laughs> I saved it too! Cool. Good game, awesome. Scott. We got a great Good game, game man. man. Alright, so you kill, you held. Yeah. Line breaker, I do get. You get line breaker. I got four of that or five. No, I didn't get kill more. No. I got hold more, I got kill, I got hold, I got bonus. Yep. Hell of a game, man. Got me by six. Oh. <laughs> yep. Right there. Hell of a game. This thermal being anywhere near you is the problem. Yeah. Nice, nice job, Handshake. man. Nice job. There we go. Very good. All right, guys. Final thoughts before we interview the players. Uh, yeah, the um, Chaos Knights got absolutely yeah, shit on. <laughs> wow. Going turn one. Uh, no, just, I'm just joking. But um, pa probably you sound guy. sad. <laughs> <laughs> it, it was it was definitely um, it was definitely a bit of a uh, I don't want to say disappointing game, but it was a very quick game. Um, and it was unfortunately. Uh, show showcasing exactly why space marines are so good, um, which I think will reinforce a lot of people's uh, perspectives on the meta. You stand right which, here, yeah. Um, yeah. All right, and so let, let's cut over to a quick interview, and then we'll have Pablo have you finish those that that thought, okay? Sure. All right, cool. And we're cutting over to Cody. Oh nope, that's not him. There we go. There's the right camera. I'll get it this time. All right. That's a so nice pen. Good job. We're here after round six. I mean, what an awesome game to watch. I know that it. Uh, we were all kind of rooting for the Chaos Knights. I'm sorry. That's but fair. it's just because we didn't expect them to be here, and Iron Hands are uh, Iron Hands. They're dumb. So, um, with that being said, going into turn one, everything looked like it was really good for you. You were able to pick up three Victor War suits and did a whole bunch of damage. After that, what was kind of the the play? What was the what was going in your head that made you kind of move forward? I thought the captain was going to die because I forgot he had a storm shield. <laughs> That's Ow. really what it is. I shouldn't have gone at all into him. Um, if I'd picked him up, it was easy game. Yeah. There was literally nothing left for you to do at at that point. Nope. I would have walked in with all my stomps and killed everything. Yep. Because I would have started looking through his windows and everything. But um, captain didn't die. Yeah. And then he played everything perfectly from then out. <laughs> so after round one, after you kind of lost all that, what was the thought process about you? What was your idea like for damage control? Keep playing a KG and keep my models exactly where they need to be. Because if I go out of position at all, I lose 100%. And my goal was to kill two knights that turn. I had to kill two or I was done. And I killed two. Captain did his job and got one. And on my shooting to this job and got one. I figured I had two models that were going to keep me in the game, which are the Dreadnought, which is never getting shot at, mm -hmm. and the Captain. And they did their job, and <laughs> that was that. The Captain picked up two Knights on his own in a single swing. It, he, it didn't cap, yeah. he didn't do anything. He did exactly what he needed to do. So it's pretty much what it came down to. I used <laughs> him right. and He tried to whiff that one he, time. He, he rolled did. four again. Yeah. Yeah, he rolled four <laughs> ones, and I rolled them all in hits. So. It was very depressing. <laughs> you had the Armager over here charged in the uh, heroic intervention and all that was there any thought of just going whole like all over there to let the captain come in and maybe try to blow up and kill him with the explosion using that stratagem again or um it was i really didn't want that knight to die so i was looking for the uh overwatch to get me a little bit of luck with the rerolls on that i needed the captain to die in overwatch so that's why i charged the dumb little guy in he wasn't going to blow up and do enough okay he uh had four wounds left he does d3 well, outside of that, I mean, it was an awesome game. You guys were both really good competitors. I know that there was no real issues that we saw or anything. Everyone's movements were great. So I really appreciate it, and good. thank you very much. Thank good you. Job, yeah, thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, bud. Back to you, John. Thanks again.
Thank you. Thanks. All right, so Pablo, uh, fin go ahead and finish your thoughts and kind of wrap up, and then we'll go once around the horn and close up this show on this game. Uh, yeah, uh, basically, um, I mean, I was just just trying to say that. Oh, hold on, I got I got to mute the chat because I hear myself twice. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, all right, good. Okay, so um, b basically, what I was say what I was trying to say was that uh, Space Marines um are very good right now uh and they're an army that you definitely have to uh watch out for but they're very beatable uh and this game was less a space marine player or space marines being uh, amazing unbeatable and more of just the chaos knight player really did uh make uh, one crit cr key critical error um so i just kind of wanted to drive that point home um but it, it was still a fun game i i liked i liked uh wondering what was going to happen um and uh unfortunately the chaos knight player just couldn't pull it out Adam, um, <clears throat> we've already we've already kind of harped on the, the the mistake in terms of target priority, but I think um, even with that, I think he still had a chance, especially with the charge with the charge on the the knights. I think he could have used the, an extra uh, reroll for one of the shots or or for the damage on the explosion, things like that. Oh, he used it on the explosion, but. Uh, I think he still had a chance, maybe not a harder chance for the night player, but like like we've already mentioned, I think I think that was a big key, and I think it really does highlight with Space Marines and Iron Hands in particular, where it may not have to play perfect, but you have to be really smart on some of the choices you make, especially if you have such a uh, a really good first turn, and not kind of get, oh well, not lazy, but just kind of get a little more settled. Like, oh, okay, I can just do this, 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 and this. I can split my fire. I can do this. And you still got to stay focused on what needs to be done. And Grumpy Brian. Thoughts? Never grumpy unless I'm talking to you. Uh, I think uh, he had a really good turn. You know, the Chaos Knight player uh, came out, out swinging and had the Space Ring player on the ropes. But uh, I think there was a couple things that were issues. I do think target priority was an issue. And uh, I know Ben explained to us the logic behind uh, picking that primary objective. I still think he should have went with the primary objective back in his deployment zone. You know, armagers moved 14, knights moved 12. Uh, there was no reason you could have gotten back, couldn't have gotten back there if you needed to. Uh, you know, even if the space marine, if the, the drop pod and the grab guys landed on that thing, I think you could have gotten over there and killed them off of it and given up the bonus for one turn as opposed to, you know, three or four turns. Um, I, I do think he should have went at the characters at one time and, you know, it was just a lesson in uh target priority and, uh, you know, playing the objective game. Uh, but it was fun to watch, you know, the first part of it, it you know, it did get kind of, uh, kind of rough there towards the end, but, uh, you know, I think chaos Knights, uh, when built right and put together, right, are contenders. I, I don't think this is a fluke seeing a chaos Knight list on the top table. Um, I think they have a lot of good tools as a tournament this weekend and the chaos night players did really well. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a good book. And, uh, and I think that book has, has some play and uh, I do agree with Pablo. I do not think that space Marines are unbeatable. I, I think you have to pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, you don't have a good margin for error to make a lot of mistakes, but uh, if you can go into the game, uh, knowing how space Marines play and what space Marines are capable of, and make good choices, you can win those games. It's a, it's not an impossible task. Well, cool. We just want to thank everybody out there for uh, joining us. Thank you for our uh, Discord hosts as well, Pablo, Brian, and Adam, for making this an enjoyable stream for you guys. You guys are an amazing group of individuals, and uh, this stream would not be... Uh, as high quality or amazing without you. So thank you very much. <laughs> My pleasure. Hey, it's, it's fun to be in on. Even, even Pablo was on here. Yep. And so we'll... we'll yikes, uh, yikes. From the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. Throne shade. Well, from the uh, Lord Marshall streaming team and uh, all of our guests that joined us this evening, we will be signing off for the next tournament. Uh, first one in 2020. We are still figuring out our schedule, but be sure to follow us on Facebook, Lord Marshall Conference, uh, and we will update you with our streaming schedule 
uh, for 2020. We plan on going, Cody and I plan on going uh, to uh, probably maybe eight to nine, maybe nine, seven to nine events, something like that. Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, and it's going to be exciting and uh, more 40K action. Hopefully, we, we get to stream more tables, get you more information there. So we will give you one look at right now with the uh, Aaron Along game, right? Uh, it is actually still going on. Uh, currently, as far as I'm, a, I'm aware, they are still in turn two. Of course can't they are. Is there an A-Long? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I just wanted to point that out. So Cody is going over there right now. And we'll double check with How the judge and see what the run. scores are. Jason, how much time is left in the round? Uh, it is like literally over. So, Whoa, no okay. way. And they did they use a chess clock? Cody, do you see a chess clock on the tape? Nope. Of course not. It's Aaron A-Long. You done fucked up, AAA Ron. Not if he won. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. oh, that's true. That's true. That's a fair statement. So, uh, Cody, can you check with uh, the judge to see if they have, they're still on turn one or turn two? Turn two. Verify. Yeah, nice. So. <laughs> that's what you get when you when you have him at your tournament and no clock. Wow. All right. Well, they did just update the scores. It's seven to four. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What, what inning are they in? <laughs> right, well, we're going to uh, shut it off there. Uh, we appreciate you guys for watching. Yeah, Thank let's end it on a high note. <laughs> exactly. I don't want to. Too late. I don't want to ruin it. <laughs> All right, guys. Take it easy. And as always, guys, nice safe. Thanks for having us. All right. Bye. <laughs>